Yeah, hi guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit and today I'm going to talk about Venla 531 versus Stronglifts 5x5. So they are both lifting programs and Stronglifts 5x5 is more suited to beginners and Venla 531 is more for intermediate lifters. And when you compare the two programs and what you should or should not do, um, here are just my thoughts on this. Having done both of them, one for 10 months, that was uh, Stronglifts 5x5 and one for 8 months, that's Venla 531. So I personally think it all depends on where you're at in your lifting career or progression if you want to, if you, um, you know, it depends on how you want to look at it. So um, if you're just a beginner, I think Strongest 5x5 is perfect. It brings you in a structured manner from an empty bar to up to, depending on your body and weight, somewhere 100 to 120 kg squat and maybe 150 kg deadlift. Um, all depends. Um, then at next, Venla 531 could come into play for intermediate lifters. I personally think I did the program too early. So what you actually should do, in my personal opinion, is you could you should stick with the five by fives or three by fives and go with either the Texas method or with um, Mad Cow after Stronglifts five by five. I think if I had done that, I would have progressed. A lot better than I did when I uh, than than I did in the past because I did Windler 531 just too early, okay? Because 531 um, has a has a longer cycle, it takes a whole month uh, to build up, and um, therefore I would actually push it out out when you don't get any more gains out of the Texas method, out of starting strength, strong lifts five by five, and out of mad cow. I think those are actually the four ones to start out within your first two years of lifting. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Please like and share, and we'll keep it uh, short and simple here. Bye-bye.